In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can run Instagram ad in 2025. See, after spending over 100 million around Facebook ad, I can tell you that one of the best places you can get quality traffic is on Instagram because there is this kind of quality audience you see on Instagram that you struggle to find on Facebook. So if you're not running Instagram ad in 2025, you are missing out a lot. Yes, of no doubt, Instagram ad might be more expensive than Facebook ad, but in return, you are going to get better and quality lead. And that is what matters right away. So the first thing you need to do when you want to start running Instagram ad is to come to your ad manager and you hit on create. So we're going to create a new and fresh ad. For this advert, I want to create a lead generation ad. I want to create a lead generation ad and I want it to run on Instagram. Okay, so let's go. We're going to hit create lead. Then we'll hit continue here. Of course, we're going to go with manual lead campaign. So let's go with that. Then it's going to open up. You know, every single advert has three options. You have the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. So this is the campaign column. We're just going to name it Instagram ad, for example. The naming is important because it will help you to understand which of the advert it is. And this is Advantage Plus audience. This is Advantage campaign budget. I do not use Advantage campaign budget. I always turn it off, all right? But for some people, they just like to turn it on. But me, I don't like that. Because when I do this, I'm simply telling Facebook, I want you to take care of my budget allocation. And that is not what I want. So I want to be the one to allocate my budget by each advert I'm creating. So I'm going to turn it off. Then after I have chosen the objective and I turn off campaign budget optimization, there is no other thing that I'm going to uh, do here. So I'm just going to click on next. It's going to take me to the ad set column and i'm going to name it something again instagram ad just follow me you're going to find this video very helpful so i'm going to name it instagram ad and then they're going to ask you where do you want to send people when they click on your ad do you want them to go on websites and instant form i always like to choose a single place so is either i'm sending them to my website i'm telling them to fill instant form and sending them to my WhatsApp, but I always like to choose a single place. And for the purpose of this advert, I would like to go with Instant Form. All right, I would like to go with Instant Form. Instant Form is a form on Facebook that your audience can fill inside Facebook, so they don't even have to go out of Facebook. So I would love to choose Instant Form. All right, and whenever you choose Instant Form, they are going to ask you to accept the meta lead terms and conditions. So if you have not accepted it, you just view the terms and you hit accept. But you can see I have accepted mine. All right. So let's proceed. Now, the next one is performance goal. Maximize number of lead or maximize number of conversion lead. Now, what's the difference? Maximize number of lead means we'll try to show your ad to people most likely to share their contact information with you. All right. Maximize number of conversion lead. We'll try to show your ad to people most likely to convert after sharing their content information with you. So I would say this, if you want to go with quality, choose maximize number of conversion lead. If you want to go with quantity, you should choose maximize number of lead. Sometimes I run adverts. What I do is I choose maximize number of lead for one ad. Then I choose maximize number of conversion lead for the next ad. And then after everything, I'll compare and you know check which one is giving me the best results. So for now, I'm just going to go on maximize number of lead because I want to prioritize quantity for this ad. So the next thing here is I'm going to choose my budget. Now, if you have been following this channel for a long time, you should know that I'm big on starting with low budget because I have not gotten what is working. So if this is an advert that I'm creating that I know it already works, I can choose to use 3.5, all right? Because I know that this is an advert that is already working. So I'm big on going with low budget work for so i'm big on going with low budget first and beside if i go with low budget and an advert is working i simply need to create different variation of that advert and then all of them is going to be bringing in lead one by one all right so for this advert i'm going to go with two thousand naira okay and of course i'm going to go with daily budget i don't do anything in lifetime budget i've never used lifetime budget in my life so I always use daily budget. Okay, so let's choose 2000 here. All right, and then the scheduling time. I It's not like it's so much important, but I like my advert to start 4 a.m. in the morning. 
4 a.m. in the morning. Today is September 30th. I want this advert to start October 1st. And then the time is going to be 4 a.m. in the morning. All right. So I'm going to say this at 4 a.m. in the morning. Now, somebody might ask, why do you like your advert to start by 4 a.m.? Well, the truth is that if I want, this advert can start by 6 p.m. But I don't want it to be so. I want my advert to start in the morning so that you can have the entire day to run to be able to optimize because if your advert start by six they're going to try to rush that advert before the next day and that way maybe they might want to spend your money very fast maybe not caring about getting you the best results and optimizing you know i just found out that slow and steady actually wins the game i don't want to rush this thing i want the advert to start by 4 a.m but it is a personal choice you can choose to do whatever you want all right now the next thing here is already on location. Location simply means where do you, which particular country or state do you want your advert to run? I'm, I'm in Nigeria and this advert is going to be running in Nigeria. But if I'm in London, I can just type UK here. All right. If I'm in USA, I can just type USA. Okay. So you just choose the particular location. That is just for the location. The next one here is advantage plus audience. And I'm going to stress this a bit because in 2025, this is the audience that is getting us the best attention and the best conversion. Now, if I switch to original audience option, it means I can no longer rely on Advantage Plus Audience. So Advantage Plus Audience is this. Our AI find audience for your ad. If you add an audience suggestion, you will guide our AI towards people you think are likely to respond. So this is just a suggestion. This is not like me. I'm going to put in a keyword and I say, this is the only people Facebook is going to target. No, I am just suggesting that these are the kind of audience that I feel might be interested in my ad. So I'm just trying to guide AI. And by the way, most time I do not put it. Okay, so I'll just click on it and the day, the age is going to be 18 to 65. I don't touch it. The gender is going to be all gender, regardless of whatever I'm selling. It sounds funny, but it's true. Even if I'm selling a product that is meant for women, I always use men and women. Even if I'm selling a product that is meant for men, I always use men and women. Why is that? When I use one age, I'm automatically limiting the age range of Facebook. Why is that? When I use one gender, I am automatically limiting the audience size on Facebook. But I don't like to limit it. I just like to leave it that way. And I guarantee you, if your advert is for women, only women are going to respond. If your advert is for men, only men are going to respond. And you can see that when you're analyzing your ad metrics, which I'm going to show you in one of my subsequent videos. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bell, and I will see you that time. Okay, so the next one here is detail targeting. I don't like to put anything here as of 2025. In 2020, 2021, we're using the data getting a lot. But as of now, I like AI to just go and find me customers. So there are two things that I now focus on. Number one, it three things right there. Number one is the offer. I make sure that my offer is very compelling. Number two is the creative. I make sure that my creative is telling a story, is showing testimonial. You know, it just it's very catchy and very convincing. Number three is the ad copy. I make sure that the ad copy is touching their pain point, telling them story, coming from their angle of painting their desire and all of that. Those are the three things that I focus on. Why AI now find me the buyers and they can do an amazing job. They have been doing it over time and I've been enjoying the results. But if you just want to experiment, you can just put something like internet marketing here. All right, internet marketing, and then it will pop up. So internet marketing will pop up and you can choose it, but I, I don't like to choose anything around employee. I like to choose interest and behavior. All right, so I'm gonna choose digital marketing so that my audience can be very big. All right. So once we do that, you see that the audience is four to five million. Once we do that, I'm going to leave it that way. I don't actually like to stack a lot of keyword here. I prefer to use it one, uh, one by one so that if it is working, I know that, oh, this is the one that is working. If it is not working, I know that it's not. But when you stack it and it's not working, you might think, oh, I don't know which one is working though. If it is working, you will not be able to know which keyword is working for you. So I like to just use one by one. But whatever you do in 2025, don't switch to original audience option. All right. Don't switch to original, except you do not want to leverage on the Facebook AI to get customers. Now, the next one here is placement. And this is where you choose that you want your advert to run on Instagram. So if you're running advert on Instagram, 
of course you're gonna you're not gonna choose advantage plus placement advantage plus placement means you are giving facebook the entire control to find wherever they feel it is important so they can place your adverts on facebook on messenger on trend on audience network and all of that but now i'm going to use manual placements when i choose manual placements i will be able to manually select which of these platform i want my advert to show so i'm going to first of all remove all devices i don't know about you but i just feel like people that use system to access facebook they are not that much so i like to just use only mobile i like to remove desktop most of the time and just pick only mobile so from the mobile i'm going to remove facebook i don't want my advert to run on facebook remember that this video is teaching you how to run adverts on instagram so i don't want my advert to run on audience network i remove it the only place i'm going to check is on instagram all right once you check this instagram alone believe me your advert is going to run only on instagram so this is now what helps you to put your advert in front of quality audience i mean people that have money not people that are using free mode on facebook i also run advert on facebook i am only saying that if you specifically want your advert to run on instagram you need to come to platform and they select every other place apart from instagram and once you have chosen Instagram, you know, when it comes to Instagram, you have many places like Instagram feed, Instagram profile feed, Instagram explore and all of that. So I like to leave it at Instagram feed. Or of course, you can do Instagram story, Instagram rail and all of that. But for me, I just like to leave it at Instagram feed. So anyone you do not want, you can deselect. Anyone you do not want, you can just simply deselect them. But if you want to experiment maybe your advert might even convert on story so you allow your advert to run on Insta instagram story allow your advert to run on instagram real too all right so but you need to understand that you have to choose instagram as the only platform that is the main goal of your ad you want your advert to run on instagram only choose instagram as the main platform if you mistakenly select facebook that means your advert is going to run on facebook and instagram I hope you are following. So once I have done that and I select the right ones, I don't want my advert to run on Instagram search results, so I remove it. Once I have selected the right one, I will now click on next. All right. So when I click on next, it's going to take me to the ad column. Now, what do we do in the ad column? It's very simple. This is where we put in the copy and the video or the image and also the headline that we want people to see all right this is where we put in the copy the image that we want people to see now for instance if the page you have selected is not connected of course you can link your instagram account you can link your instagram account or you can select a page that has access to instagram all right this ad account does not have any page that have access to instagram but that is what you need to do so the rest now is we need to create the advert part so we're also going to name it instagram why this is somehow important is that if you have a lot of adverts that can be confusing to you, you need to be able to find the particular one using the naming that you gave it. All right. So the next thing here is we'll click, of course, the adverts already have form. It's already have a start form. If you want to learn how to create a start form, the video will be in the description. This is not the video for instance form. So we'll choose the instance form that we want. Of course, if you want to create a form, you just click on create form and you follow the process. The video will be in the description. Choose the instant form that you want and you come down to add creative. This is where you select, do you want to use image or do you want to use video ad? For this advert, I want to use image. All right. So that is how I'm going to select one particular image. Maybe the image is already uploaded, but if it is not, I can click on upload right here. And it's going to take me to my system where I select and upload. For instance, let's say I want to use this image of a smoothie. And then I click on next. So it's going to show me how the image is going to be. If I like, I can crop it. But I don't want to crop it. I think it's okay like this. So I can click on apply. Then I click next. I hope you are following me. I click next. Now, this is where you're going to put in your ad copy. And before you even come here, there's one thing that I always advise advertisers. And that is this. Do not write your ad copy when you are already creating your ad. I know this sounds funny, but the reason I like to do it is I don't want to be in a haste to write my copy. So now that I'm creating the ad, I want to start typing, typing, typing. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want to have crafted my advert before I even come here. So once I have crafted the ad, ad, ad copy, I simply copy the ad copy and then right click and click on paste. 
that way i didn't write that copy in a haste that would prevent me from missing a word you know making mistake with my link and all of those things so always write your you know calm down and write your copy before you even start creating the ad and another thing i always advise advertiser is this after creating the ad take some time five minutes seven minutes and cross check what you have done because you can never be too sure maybe there's a place you made a mistake maybe there's something you click and you did not you know click or something so you have to always cross check your advert especially as an early advertiser so what we need to do is we we'll copy the link the ad copy and we'll place it here this is the primary threat primary test that is where you put the ad copy okay now the headline of course this is where you put the headline headline is simply a one line that you just use to summarize what the advert is about maybe the advert is about how to make more sales with lead generation my headline can be how to make more sales with lead generation maybe the advert can be free training on how to land high ticket clients it can be how to land high ticket clients a free training you know so you just summarize what the advert is about if you don't know much about writing headline make sure you subscribe to this channel i'm going to show you different type of headline method that i use and the one that i work in right now okay so the next thing here once you have done is we need to choose call to action call to action is what they are going to see so that when they click on it it takes them to when they can fill a form so for me there are different call to action here you can simply select what you want at this moment i'm running adverts for a client who is running advert to get people to apply for a grant so the one we are using is apply now there was a time i was running advert for people to download an ebook i used download do you understand how this thing work if you're running advert to get people to subscribe to youtube channel the call to action can be subscribed if you're running advert to get people to sign up for a training for an event for whatever you can just use sign up so the call to action has to relate to what you want people to do so i'm going to use sign up and then i will click on next all right so just ignore this you can just click skip and continue and then this is the enhancement i'll just click on done okay i'll just click on done and once i do that ladies and gentlemen my advert is ready but you have to always preview your advert go through it again and make sure that you do not have any issue before you now hit publish all right go through it again before you now hit on publish so let me do this ad let me do this ad and then you need to go through it over and over again before you hit publish. Now, why this advert is not going to be publishing is remember I told you that this Facebook page, it has no access to Instagram account. So, but all you need to do is to link your page to Instagram or you can use a Facebook page that has access to Instagram and your advert will be published. So this is where you click publish right away. But I'm not going to publish this advert now because this is just an example ad i hope i've been able to give you value show you how to create an instagram ad from scratch and if you like this video you're going to like the next video that is showing on your screen right now